Hey there YouTube friends, my wife was having a little bit of an issue taking quality pictures for her Poshmark and eBay side business. So as an early birthday gift, I went out and I bought her the Canon PowerShot F360 HS and I think it has everything she needs to do the job she needs to do. We always had good luck with Canon products, so I wanted to stick with the brand. And real quickly, this is what you get in the box, you get the camera itself. You get a battery, a battery charger, a wrist strap, and the instruction manual. It doesn't come with an SD card, so you'd have to go out and buy one yourself. But while it's the light out right now, I'm going to go out down to the river and take some pictures and some video. This way you can see the results. And then I'll come back and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Here's a little video so you could see what the video looks like and hear the sound. Okay, now way out on that rock are a couple of ducks. I'm going to try to get a still picture of them. So you see how far I am. I'm going to zoom in now. Here's a little more video. We're over here by the shoals and uh, you can see a beaver was at that tree. Yeah, it's a pretty big tree. Wouldn't want to be around when it comes down. But that'll show you a little bit of the clarity of the video of this camera. Okay, now before I click off some pictures, I just want to show you something real quick. I'm going to turn the camera on, and I'm going to click the function set button. And now I'm going to scroll down. And I just want to show you, you can take different size images. So if I scroll to the right, I could take a 16.9, a 3.2, a 4.3 or a one-to-one -one image which is great for Poshmark that's mainly why my wife wanted it and I'm going to take some pictures right now Okay, now I'm back at my house and I wanted to try a little bit of an experiment. I'm in my den with only one lamp on, so it's kind of dark in here. And I just want to see if I switch the camera to a low light setting, what the picture will look like. Okay, so I'm going to hit the function set button. I'm going to scroll to the right. Right now it's in auto. I'm going to scroll down to low light. And now I'm just going to take a picture and we'll see what that looks like. Okay. And let's see what size ratio we had it on. That was 4-3, that picture I just took right there. If you're planning on using the ELF 360 to shoot interior video, I wanted to give you a chance to see what that would look like. Now, if you only have one light or you just plan on shooting in low light in your home or something like that, Chances are you're not going to be happy with the results because the video tends to come out grainy. Right now I have three photography lights on me, one there, one there, and one behind me. And even this probably looks a little grainy. So for a really clear video, I would suggest something like this. This is the Canon Vixia video camera. And you get better results for video with something like this. Now along with uh, the video, when you're shooting, for YouTube or something like that, you want to get good audio. And Canon cameras tend to get really good audio, so I just want to give you a chance to hear what that would sound like. I'm going to make a little noise right here. specifications at the end of the video but right now I just want to point out some of the more important features this is a 20.2 megapixel camera so the images come out nice and clear it has image stability so if you don't have the camera on a tripod and you shake a little bit those videos or pictures that you take are still going to come out nice and clear because of that image stability if I turn it around 
we have a Wi-Fi button. So instead of using a USB cable or popping out the SD card, we could just click this Wi-Fi button right here and it connects to our laptop and we could download all the images on the camera that way and it saves a lot of time. We did that already and that worked out great. Now if I turn the camera on, you'll see how far that lens comes out. And if I zoom in, you can see it has 12 times the optical zoom. So we get nice clear pictures even when close up. It's a really good camera and you might want to check it out. Um, supply chains are slow right now, so they might be hard to find, but they go for about 239 bucks. And uh, now I'm going to give you the specifications. And as always, please subscribe and happy photography. I'll catch you next time.